Hey everyone, happy Saturday, and Haley here with an exciting video about what you can expect during your first year at community college. I know there aren't a lot of videos on this topic, so I'm hoping to shed some light for new community college students who are feeling a little bit nervous or excited, and I wanna tell you about a few things. The first thing that I wanna talk about is related to more the academic side of things. Uh, specifically, this is in regards to your major. So it's completely normal to not know what you want to major in throughout your first year. Um, definitely, probably not in the first semester of community college. And it's completely normal even, you know, after that, maybe within two years, you probably still aren't 100% certain about what you want to study. So expect not to know right away. And trust me, you aren't the only one feeling that way. I think everyone goes to it. There are very few people on this planet who know exactly what they want to do with their lives, especially at the ripe age of 18. So don't feel pressured to pick something immediately. The best advice that I can give you to combat that feeling is basically just to keep taking a wide variety of classes in different fields until something really piques your interest more than others do. That's the way that I discovered that I wanted to major in linguistics and the rest is history. All right, number two, expect to feel like a lot of the classes that you're taking are things that you've already taken. In community college, you're working with something called your general education, and these are basically your core classes that give you kind of like a broad education. Um, so, you know, a lot of like English, math, science, history, psychology, stuff like that. So a lot of people complain that it's kind of a waste of time to take GEs, but I think it's really important because it broadens your understanding of the world outside of your major, which is important because if you only know about one thing and you're unable to talk, about you know anything other than that that's not very good just because you're a chemist doesn't mean there's no value in learning how to write you need to learn how to write a cover letter an email you know stuff like that especially if you're going to be like writing a lot of research papers and vice versa i know a lot of english majors and a lot of people who are more kind of like arts oriented complain about having to take math and science but i do think it is important these are called transferable skills and yes they are very valuable especially in the workplace it's true that a lot of the classes that you're taking especially in the first maybe two semesters so really your first year are gonna be repeats of things that you've already taken in high school but in high school you really can't go into the level of depth and detail that you will at community college and that's what makes it different from high school Number three might come as a shocker to some of you, but expect to spend a lot more time on your coursework than you did in high school. So at community college, you are supposed to be spending a pretty decent amount of time on your homework. The number of units in a class corresponds to the number of hours of study outside of the classroom that you are supposed to be putting in, in order not only to pass the class, but to do well in the class. That being said, just from my personal experience, the assignments may not necessarily be harder, but if you think about it this way, this is, you know, probably your pathway to transferring to a four-year university, such as a CSU or a UC. So if you're kind of just slacking off and not putting in your full effort, that is a pretty good like foreshadowing for the effort that you're gonna be putting in at the four year level. So it's important to put in the effort now. It will make your transition a lot smoother once you do transfer and it will pay off. Trust me, if you do hard work, it will pay off. I know from personal experience, I've had good grades, I've had bad grades. And as soon as I realized that the bad grades were tearing me down, I turned my life around real quick. That sounds really dramatic, but it's true because the last thing that I want on my transcript is a bunch of really bad grades. I think that, you know, if you're on this pathway, you should go the extra mile, you should put in the effort. If you put in the effort, it's gonna be reflected by your grades, but it's also gonna be recognized by your teachers, by your peers, by anyone who knows your level of commitment to your academics and to your education, and it will pay off. Okay, moving away from the academic side of things, I wanna talk a little bit more personally with the last two things um, that you can expect your first year of community college. And these kind of address the concerns or the complaints that a lot of people have about community college. And the first thing that I wanna address is a lot of people say that they feel isolated at community college. And I'm not saying that you can expect to feel isolated at community college. What I am saying is, you know, a lot of people do just go to class and go home. They don't really bother to get involved. They don't really bother to get to know the people that they're sitting next to in class for 15 or 16 weeks. And if you wanna be social, if you want to form meaningful relationships 
well, going to class and going home isn't gonna cut it. Of course, you're gonna have to take the initiative to interact with people around you. People complain that no one in community college really talks to each other in class. And to me, this is just another classic case of life's what you make it because if you wanna to talk to someone, if you wanna make friends, you can't always wait for the other person to start the conversation. Sometimes you have to be the one to start the conversation. I know that can be hard if you're shy. I myself am shy. But the thing is, that person is probably wanting someone to start a conversation with them as much as you are. Just because someone appears disinterested or kind of involved in what they're doing doesn't mean that they're not open and receptive to having a conversation. A lot of people just don't want to initiate. A lot of people are scared to initiate. But you'll find, I think, that once you do initiate, it's something that you'll practice and you'll get better at and people will, will respond, whether that's negative or positive. I mean, that's up to them, but in my experience, it's mostly positive. In a similar vein, people say oftentimes they feel disconnected from the school that they go to when they're in community college. And I can see this because once again, you go to school, you go home, call it a day. But that's just not the way life works. I think, you know, the transition between high school and community college is hard because in high school and basically K through 12, there are a lot of requirements. There are counselors and people pushing you along the way and encouraging you and building you up or literally just there are mandatory things that you need to do in order to graduate, such as volunteer, um, do volunteer hours. But in community college, that's not the case. And in college in general, no one is gonna tell you what to do. No one is gonna tell you that you have to go get involved in clubs. No one is gonna tell you that you have to volunteer. No one is even gonna tell you that you have to show up to class. That's on your shoulders. The weight is on your shoulders. It's your responsibility. So similarly, if you want to feel more connected to your campus, I would suggest getting involved in campus clubs and see what's out there because you may really find that you like being in a leadership position or you like working with other people or you like, you know, the things that your school is doing to get involved in the community. But you'll never know if you never try, right? I guess the lesson behind all of these five things that I've just pointed out is that taking the initiative is really the key in college and in community college more specifically because it's really up to you to make your experience what you want there are certain things that you can't expect, such as the course load, the homework, the academic rigor, of course, but on the personal aspects of things, that's up to you. All right, everyone, I hope this video helped you get some understanding of what community college is like during your first year. Um, there are a lot of things that you can expect, but it really depends on your personal situation. And let me know if you've started community college this week, what are you most nervous about in the comments? I'm sure you're not the only one and you'll find that a lot of people are nervous about the same things as you are. So I'll see you next Saturday at 3 p.m. Bye.